Hey, Pokedad fan club, it's me, Pokedad. And today we're looking at another deck profile from the new set, Breakthrough. We're actually looking at a Mega Glalie EX deck. Um, I'm not super hyped about this deck, but I know a lot of you really love this Pokemon. And so I felt like, uh, you know, I owed it to you to show it off. And so I want to do the best I can with this. Um, Mega Glalie is, is a water type Pokemon with 220 HP, has Cryo Mouth, which does just 100 damage. But the cool thing about it is it's only a two energy drop, a water and two and a double colorless. So we can just use two energy drop and have him charged up. It synergizes real well with its regular EX, which also has that same energy requirement. So it's not like an additional requirement. And the reason why I like it is even though 100 isn't a lot, it's still a very two hit KO number uh, that we can use um, to really um, still do you know two hit KOs. And then also it has um, this added text to it. If this Pokemon has 10 or more damage, so basic damage counters, basically if it has 100 damage or more on it, uh, this attack does 150 more damage. So now it will hit for 250. So the thing that your opponents have to be really careful with is um, not either they're going to have to hit under that 100 damage and take like a three hit KO, or they're going to have to try to one shot with at 220. And most people aren't playing a lot of metal, so it's hard to hit, hit for weakness, and it's really hard to hit 220 on one turn. There's a few, you know, there's some aggro decks out there. Um, you know, Mega Rayquaza could hit that, but he's going to have to have eight bench. Um, me, you know, Vespaquin could potentially hit for that, but it would seems like it would take a couple turns to do that. So Cryo Mouth is pretty strong because if it does, uh, if they get, uh, if they hit you for a hundred then we're just going to do 150, 250 back at them and knock out just any, about anything they can bring. The other cool thing is I'm building this as a very healing type deck. Uh, we've got a lot of healing cards. So if they hit us for under 100, we're going to be able to heal most of, all, most of that off, if not all of it, which means Mega Glalie is going to just last even longer. Uh, but before we look at some of the other stuff, let's also look at the Glalie EX, which is also a pretty good card in itself. And we've actually built some cards in the deck to kind of work with it. So that if we don't get the Mega Glalie out right away, we still have the Glalie uh, attacking pretty hard. The first attack is Ice Breath. If we get just one water energy on it, uh, we can flip a coin. And if heads opponents paralyzed, which basically they don't get to attack us for one turn, which is really awesome. Unless, of course, they have a switch or some way to get out of it. But um, that's really, really good for us. The other thing is instant freeze. Again, for just that water double colorless, only hits for 50. But if we have the same number of cards in our hand as our opponent, then we get to do 150, which is nothing to sneeze about. Um, we do play um, one judge and we play one battle uh, reporter so that we can kind of get our hand up to the same size as our opponent. We're playing four VS Seekers, so. Uh, it is going to be kind of situational, but if those situations come up, we'll be able to VS Seeker for those cards and get them into our hand. Uh, so that's Meg that's Glalie and Mega Glalie. Let's look at some of our support Pokemon. And honestly, I don't know if this is the best build for this. This is just one idea, guys. And really, my builds are really designed to help you get your creative juices flowing and give you some ideas uh, that might work. I've teamed... Uh, Glalie up with Gardevoir EX or Gardevoir, just the regular one from Ancient Origins. Bright Heal uh, does heals 20 damage from each of your Pokemon, so uh, you can retreat one Pokemon, begin healing it. Uh, we're also going to be playing the three of the Rough Seas along with it, uh, so we'll be able to heal damage up to 50 every turn from that. And if we can get both Gardevoirs in play, we could theoretically heal 70 damage every turn so um, it makes for energy here one thing you'll notice is I don't play in any um, rare candies I'm just gonna evolve these naturally 
Uh, we've got a lot of, we got level balls and ultra balls that we're playing. So I don't really want to have to worry about getting Quaking Punched or Vile Plume, uh, where we can, we can still evolve these naturally. Some people just take the Curlia out and just try to evolve it with Rare Candy. But we're just going to, this is going to be a setup deck. And it's going to take us a little bit of time, but since we're doing working with Omega, we should have the time to to deal, get set up, uh, and get healed off anyway. Uh, so I'm not too worried about having to evolve these this Gardevoir line naturally. The other thing that we play is we play uh, a Dodrio. Our Pokemon really have high retreat costs. If you look at Glalie, it's three. I believe Mega Glalie is also three. And then Reggie Ice, who we use as a, who we'll talk about in a minute, also has three. So if we can get one Dodrio in, we can just retreat for one water, um, and then, uh, and then we can heal off with rough seas, and then just attach another water later, and bring that one that's been healed back to the active. So we can kind of keep uh, healing the damage off of everything, and then retreat bring the next one up and it just gives us a really good cycle if they don't hit at least a hundred above a hundred on the cryo mouth uh, then you know we're gonna just try to heal all that damage off if we're going EX to EX and they do hit above the hundred for the cryo mouth then we'll just return uh, do a return KO uh, back on them so anyway so we know Drio to kind of help us with the retreat I mentioned before that we do play Reg Ice, and this is also uh, helps us against EX decks, and it fits in this water deck. So uh, Ice Beam does 30, and then it potentially can paralyze our opponent. But the real car, the real one here that everybody is using is Resistance Blizzard. It does 70 damage, uh, but no Pokemon EX can hurt Reg Ice on the next turn. So if we're playing an EX heavy deck, Reg Ice can come in. Put some damage out while we get the Glalies ready, or sometimes he we can just tank him and just finish the game with him if they all they have is EXs. So, uh, and since this is not an ability, it can't be knocked off with Hex Maniac. So this just works really well for us. Uh, anyway, so let's look at the supporter line uh, and some of the item cards. We already talked a little bit about them. Oh, and I forgot. Let's don't forget we play one Shaman. Normally I would play more than this, but we've already got such a big bench. Uh, we're trying to set up at least one or two Gardevoirs and one, possibly two Dodrios. And by the time we add attackers, we really don't have much room for more than one Shaman. Uh, so Shaman can help us though with the setup ability. Uh, and it's also kind of cool because if we want to play ju Judge, um, you know, we can, sh if we get an Ultra Ball from the Judge after we play it, um, we can lower our opponent's hand down to four and then Ultra Ball for the Shane and get us back up to six. So uh, it's kind of nice there. But anyway, uh, so that's the Pokemon line. Let's look at our item cards. We're playing two level balls. That's to help us get the Dodrios and the Ralts and Curlias out. Uh, and actually, we can get yeah the Do Duo and the Dodrio. Then we're playing four Ultra Balls. This helps us get whatever we want. I was at first playing Dive Balls, but again, we have other targets that we may want to try to get other than Water Pokemon like Shaman or Gardevoir, uh, or maybe even we need to get one of the other ones. So Dive Ball only helps us with the Water type Pokemon. So I went ahead and grabbed the Ultra Ball, four of those. If uh, you felt, you, you know, you could trade that in for Dive Ball if you didn't want to do, say, the Gardevoir line or something like that. Um, but then again, you won't be able to target Shaman either. We play four VS Seekers. We're playing a lot of different supporters. And so we may end up Ultra Boying some of these away. And we want to be able to use them later. So four uh, VS Seekers is just solid. We also play the three Spirit Links. It's just necessary since we're using uh, Mega Glalie. So might as well use the Spirit Links there. And then we play three Rough Seas. I've already mentioned to that. That allows your Lightning and Water Pokemon to heal 30 damage. Uh, along with Gardevoir, we can heal 20 more. Potentially, if we get both Gardevoirs, uh, we can heal seven. And then if you throw in a Pokemon Center Lady, which we're playing two of, uh, we can hit. We can heal th theoretically for 130 damage. 
So uh, that's not too bad. Uh, and it just allows our glalies to last longer. All right, we're playing the standard for Sycamore. That's just uh, pretty much standard in today's meta. Uh, you need that to be able to draw. We're also playing the four Birch, which has pretty much become the standard. Shauna lost out, and I think Birch has won. Um, and the thing is, is there's a lot of cards that we can use if we only draw four to help us get back up to six. Shaman being the major one. Uh, but there's just a lot of other draw cards nowadays with the auxiliary that m probably could fit well in this deck uh, if you wanted to go that route. There's a lot of item-based draws, acrobikes, roller skates, even battle compressor is somewhat a draw card in itself uh, because it thins your deck so it allows you to draw into cards that you need more easily. So getting the four isn't uh, as bad of a negative thing as... It's not as big of a risk as the reward of getting seven that you get um, from a heads. And that allows uh, Shauna just the average five every single time. It just caused Shauna to lose out. So um, Professor Birch is pretty much the way people are going. So we're playing four of those. We're playing some one ofs. Uh, I told you already that we're playing one of Battle Reporter. Uh, really good card. With the Glalie, we can, if we have less cards than our opponent, we can use it to draw the amount, same amount, and then Glalie's attack does one thing. We do play a one of Bridget, and at first I was really down on this card. I thought Pokemon Fan Club would be um, still better, and in some ways it still is. But a one of in this deck can be really good for us because we can grab a Doduo, a Curlia and a Reg Ice, or any combination of those. And if we get it on turn one, it's really useful. The only problem is, is it becomes a dead card, just like Fan Club does toward the end game. You really don't need it. And Fan Club at least can become a draw card if you have Shaman in the deck, uh, whereas Bridget can't. So I guess in some ways, Fan Club is better. But um, we're playing one of, and sometimes we will get this card in the first hand, and we're really thrilled by that. And then we can get set up a little bit easier. If not, though, we usually run into one of our draw supporters, and that can help us get set up also. So anyway, uh, one Bridget in the deck. We play one Judge. This has a couple uses for us. First of all, again, each player shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and draws four cards. So again, we can use it in combination with Glalie's attack and hit for 150. But even more important is uh, it can whittle your opponent down to four cards. Uh, it also whittles you down to four, but if you do this on turn one, it can just be really devastating. Imagine you have seven cards in your hand, you play them out, then let, in the best case scenario, you play six of them, the seventh one is a judge, you get four cards and they're stuck with just four and they haven't even played yet and uh, judge can just be devastating in that way so pretty decent card I think it'll get, see some play it should definitely see some play if you're playing in drafts over the next couple weekends uh, because that could really hurt your opponent if you're able to draw that in the early uh, early game all right, we play two Lysander. Lysander is just um, also one of those standard staples. Uh, and you could just get away with playing one since we're playing four VS Seekers. But I'm just, Lysander just wins games. I know I've said that before, uh, but it just really does. So playing two Lysanders, I think, is just standard in most decks. And with four VS Seekers, that means we potentially can do six Lysanders in one turn. In one game, I mean. Uh, so that's really awesome. I already mentioned the Pokemon Center Lady. We're playing two of those. You could probably, you might even consider dropping that down to one and adding another staple supporter or another item card. Uh, but this is just the build I'm showing you guys. Feel free to fidget with it as you see fit. As far as energy, we're just playing 10 energy. Uh, the one thing I do like about Glalie and Mega Glalie is that it only takes three energies and it's only a two energy drop with a water and a double colorless. So you don't have to run a whole lot of energy. 
Reg Eye, it works with Reg Eyes too, so it only has uh, water and a double colorless. And even ironically, not that I've ever used the attack, but if we ever need to, let's say we put some damage on a Shaman that went to the bench, and 50 more damage would finish it off. Even Gardevoir's attack could, for a water and a double colorless could be charged up and we could finish off uh, a Shaman on the bench or something. So, you never know. Uh, it just might even come in handy even with Gardevoir. So, and even, and even Do Dodrio's attack is just three. So, every single person, every single uh, attacker in here can make use, uh, even non-attackers, even the support Pokemon can make use of this line of water. And that's what I think makes Glalie, if there's any advantage Glalie and Mega Glalie have, it's the, the energy drop. Just It synergizes very well. A two energy drop to potentially do 250. I think it's awesome, guys. So anyway, that's the deck profile. I am going to do some, um, in, other, in another video, I'll show you this deck in action. Uh, but anyway, that's all I have for now. Please, please hit like. Uh, just lets me know that you you really are um, interested in what I have, and it also just an encouragement to me. So I really appreciate it if you hit like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, we'd really thank you if you did. Uh, we really appreciate every every single one of our subscribers. Uh, so we, if you would like to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and then please leave us a, a message in below. Tell me what, uh, you, th how you would do your Glalie deck. Uh, this is just one idea. Um, you know, I'm just giving you my idea, but what would you do, uh, in your Glalie deck? I'd love to hear from you. So anyway, uh, hit like, subscribe and comment below. And this is Pokedad signing off. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.